Find each measure. First things first, I'm going to find the measure of arc CFD. Before we talk about that, I have a lot going on with these circles. So let's try to understand things. If I have a central angle right here, a central angle means its vertex lives on the center of the circle. And if I were to create an arc, and we'll call you A, we'll call you B, we'll call you C. If I were to say, well, let's call angle ACB 80 degrees. Whatever the central angle is, the arc measurement is exactly the same thing. So if an arc measure creates a central angle, ab, I have six of those, the central angle is going to have the same exact measurement, ACB or BAC or BCA, I mean, Basketball Club Association. Uh, so 80 is 80 in this case. Now, when I go over here, CFD is just more complicated than I need. CFD means I'm going around here and around here and also here and also here. And if you're wondering, why didn't they call it CBD or CBFED or CED or DF? Well, basically, this is just saying I need to go from C to D, but I have to include F. That's why I'm not just including this little chunk here. Now, what I have is basically all of this right here. Problem number one. I don't know you and I don't know you. But what I do know is FC appears to be a straight line. And if FC is a straight line, then these two angles are going to be supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. And if these two angles are 180 degrees, then you're 45, which also means vertex angles, you're 45. Oh, so the measure going from C all the way around to D is going to be 45 plus 135 plus 45 plus 81. So 45 plus 135 plus 45 plus uh, 81 is 306. So the measure of angle CFD uh, is 356 uh, or 306. I kind of 40 and slip. That's also true. That's very true. But what that means, and most importantly, is that means the measure of arc CFD is 306. So I caught myself. I mean, I was accidentally naming the wrong thing. But by saying this, I can kind of like pretend like I know what I'm doing and be like, yeah, I was trying to do this the whole time, which I am. Let's see if this one's a little bit more friendly. The measure of angle MIJ. MIJ is this angle right here. I don't have any angle measurements. I have this arc measurement and arc JK is 55, which means it's central angle created by it. What is that? I, J, I, K uh, is also 55. So if you're 55 and this is a straight line, these guys add up to 180. So the measure of angle MIJ is 180 minus 55, which gives me 25. 125 degrees. So I'll put that up here to keep things consistent. The measure of angle MIJ is 125 degrees, which means the measure of angle of arc MJ, Michael Jordan, is 125 degrees and so on and so forth. So central angles being matched up with their arcs, everything's the same. That's one of the nicer parts about circles.